How's it going guys, Angus here. So last week I did a review on the CEL Robux and as some of you may uh, remember, the print quality in that review was pretty terrible. Uh, so I did suspect that there may have been a problem with the actual print head itself and it turns out it was a problem, it was actually a faulty print head. So I got in touch with Willtronics and they're the ones that lent us the printer to test and they're like, yep, that's a faulty print head and sent us a new one within this week. So I've actually been playing with the Robux more since that review and it turns out that the new print head fixes everything, and I mean everything. Here's a print from before. So this owl, huge issues, you can see the head's all melted. And here's a print with the new head. Before and after. So as I said in my review, all the features they've added into the Robux make it a really attractive looking machine for sort of schools and institutions where you need a machine that just works, you don't have to do all this calibration yourself, but the print quality did let it down. Well, now with the print quality being amazing, it kind of makes it a must-have machine. As a further example of that, this is a little robot foot from Thingiverse, uh, you know, moving part. So the support that the Robux generated just broke away, and this is PLA, so support's traditionally quite hard to do in PLA, and it just looks fantastic. They were printed side by side, and there was no stringing at all between them. So the needle valve system the Robux has uh, obviously works amazingly well. And yeah, so this is just a little update on my review. So don't judge it by the print quality in the review, judge it by these photos because it prints amazingly well. And I'm so happy to have been able to test this machine and so glad that it actually turned out to be something faulty, not just another, yet another machine that just doesn't deliver. If you want to have a look at one of these machines, we've actually got one at the Perth 3D Printing Studio. So if you happen to be in Perth, I know most of you guys are in America, but if you happen to be in Perth, come down to Fremantle. We're on 72 Marine Terrace and you can check out the Robux for yourself. Also got a few other sort of low end uh, hobby machines you can, you can try out and we sell them of course. And yeah, so thanks guys for watching and hope you enjoyed this update on the review of the CEL Robux. I'll see you around here again soon on Maker's Muse. Bye guys.